All right, we're back with another improvement idea uh, here at Wirecrafters, and uh, the guys that run this cell over here are laser operators that got together with their leaders, and we had a problem where we couldn't keep up with sheet metal. We had sheet metal stacked all over the floor, piled up everywhere, and occasionally, once you bust that label off, you may not be aware of what kind of sheet metal that is. So we would run a 14 gauge, we need a 16 gauge, so on and so forth. So what they came up with is a solution. We have the cantilever racks, and we have a two bin combine. The two racks on the left behind me over here, those are the active pull racks. That's what the guys are using for stock material, for stock runs and stock parts. The third rack over there, that's custom material. We don't worry too much about that one. The two on the left are the active pull. The two over here to my left, these are the reserves. So what the operator does is, if he's gonna take a skid of 16 gauge, he gets a 16 gauge down, he runs it, he runs it, he runs it. When he's done with it, he puts it back away. Once he's depleted that entire skid, he'll come over here, He'll pull a 16 gauge, put it over there. He takes the magnet off of this and puts it on our board over here. That tells purchasing on their walkthrough that they need to order us another skin of 16 gauge. By doing this, we've eliminated running out of material or having to call last minute. I need to get a 16 gauge, I'm out of material. It saved us a whole lot of time and effort. So that helped a lot. Then the second thing we did was, we got them off the floor, we got them nice and neat, we got them labeled, but we still, 14 gauge, 16 gauge, these things are really close in size. So, we come with a new system where this is a part we're gonna run. We're gonna run this one Monday. That's a green magnet because it is 16 gauge. So what we did is we took all of our 16 gauge material and we color coded those green as well. So now when the operator goes and gets the green sheet metal, he knows he's making green parts. That way we're positive when we put it on the machine and pull it off, we've got the right gauge and we poke yoke that so we don't make any mistakes. 